I'm out here this morning with my babies. That's Sophie laying down over there. And this is Frankie over here. And my two kids were just outside. We were just throwing the ball around and playing a little bit. But I want to talk to you this morning for a morning cup of inspiration about the animals. And will they be in heaven with us? Thank you for joining me in your morning cup of inspiration. Let's explore this. In Romans 8, 20 and 21, the Bible tells us, For the creation was subjected to futility, not willingly, but because of him who subjected it in hope, because the creation itself also will be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God. See, God's telling us there that he's created everything. And when he comes back to our original creation, when he delivers us out of here, he's going to restore everything. Uh, everything will be restored new without corruption of sin and death. And I really believe that that's going to be animals too, because God created animals for his glory. He created them to bless him, and animals do that in so many ways. Now, in uh, Revelations 4.11, the Bible also tells us that, you are worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power, for you created all things, and by your will they uh, will they exist and were created. He created everything. That includes plant life is, is alive too, but then you have animals. Isaiah 11, 6, this is one I like. The wolf also shall dwell with the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the kid and the calf, and the young lion and the fatling together and a little child shall lead them. This is when we're going to be in heaven. The, the lion's going to lay with the lamb. They're going to be there together. Now tell me, that's right here, Isaiah 11:6, and it's in a lot more places too. What I saw too is Revelations 19, 11. Now I saw heaven opened, and behold, a white horse. And he who sat on him was called faithful and true, and in righteousness he judges and makes war. See, God planned everything he created everything and, and everything that is to glorify the creator and i really believe in my heart that they're going to be in heaven with us now i'm not saying they have souls but they bring god glory too just like your animals bring you glory and it's not just dogs i mean you got cats you got rabbits you've got uh, mice you have birds there's so many out there that people just get blessed by and see so much of what animals are doing. They're discovering cancer in people now, or sniffing it out, and little things like that, that, that you know, uh, be using dogs for therapy, and cats, cats for therapy. This is blessings from God, and God put them on this earth for a reason, and I really believe that they're like family to a lot of us, and they're gonna be in heaven with us. Now, I know this has nothing really to do with a lot of things we would talk about on Fearless Faith, but I know there's many of you that love your animals like I love mine. And I just feel comfort thinking that they're going to be there. I really believe it. And I think the scripts, a lot of these scriptures back that up. I look forward to seeing you again for another morning cup of inspiration. I hope you have a wonderful day. God bless you.